So first what we are going to do is create a custom object. We get this as website traffic. Click on next, next, save. So now what we want to do is we want to create fields in this. First we will create uh, date. Click on next. We will put the name date. Okay. Click on next. Save and new. After that, we have to create device text. That we want again, we want the uh, number next. We will click the chance. Next. next. So, and lastly, we want a float type. So, what we will do is we'll select the number, we will include it as bounce rate. And we will go to three dozen of places. And we will go to 15. So, interest 3 is 18. This is what we need. Next. Next. Save. So, we have all our fields. So, now what we will do is we will go back to our main page. Click on web traffics. What we want to do is we want no, no, no. Hmm. what we want to do is we want to import our data from the CSV file. Okay, so we what do we want to do? We want to add new records in the website traffic add new records we will track the csv file i have this csv file with me so we'll track it we we'll click on next see it has mapped automatically according to so this one is what mapped because it is not taking it so we will map it manually we'll click on map we will choose what we want to map it with number of visitors we want to map it with so we click on map so this is how our data will look like we'll click on next 
start import and will and it will start importing maximum we can uh, import uh, 50000 uh, rows records at a time so it will take a little bit time after that we can check it and it will be in this so the data is uploaded we can check it now we will select all so all the data is here this is unique number this is our first data so we want to show it here all the data so what we can do is we can go to the settings select field to display and we want all of these we want date device category browser number of visitors sessions now select so we will select this and it will show here see you can see it is all here now what we will do is now we will get the data from the seed course so we will connect to the sales force to come first source for sales force so what we wanted from we have created uh, uh, an object called uh, website traffic so we will get it from object this production so we have to first sign in to our sales force organization This is this is what our data looks like. So we don't want uh, many of these uh, columns. So what we will do first? We will not load it. We will first transform the data. So we will uh, open it in the Power Query. Uh, Power Query is a very good tool to transform our data. So what we want is we don't want these IDs, the, the name, we don't want created date, we don't want last modified date, we don't want last activity, no, no. So we do want is these, we want the date, device category, browser, number of visitors, session, bounce rate. So we want these six columns, so we will just remove other column and keep these six and just we will check their data types it's right or not that's date name let's see let's see let's see it's fine okay so now we'll close and apply so the data will upload in this and we can make uh, reports and dashboards from this data and analyze it for further So as we can see, our data is loaded. See, 
all the six so you can check like we want date and what you want to number of visitors according to the years we want years and Yeah, very small data. Yeah. 